Hello, how are you? It's Ange, and I am in a different part of the house. And you can see just how I walk today. Yeah, I finally got around to it. I didn't forget you. I got your request, and I've been swamped in homework and everything else. So here's a video of how I walk, and you will see just what all I do as I walk. It's a lot and it's tiring, but I do it on a day to day basis. So. Alright, here we go. Alright, now my hands. Uh, yeah, I'll show you the hands as I walk. The right arm, often stiff and stubborn. Push down. Coax it to go down. Yeah. It doesn't always go all the way down by my legs. This one does. direction as to how I lean and lean either way and see how I walk through the legs. Through the legs. Legs. Alright. Alright. I am lifting my left heel to balance out how I stand my right leg. And this is the left leg. It's kind of bent to make my legs a little more comfortable. Okay, now we're actually standing flat foot. So at this foot, I am two different heights. I am 4'9 and I am 5'1. So, gradually wearing high heels, and I am two different heights. It's interesting. That's how I walk. That's how I move as I walk. I get tired because my back is constantly going in more than one direction. It's never just a straight you know, spine. It's it. hard to explain, really. Um, it's hard to walk for me. But I can. I do uh, exercise. I do yoga. Uh, that I will show you that in the next clip if you request it or if you want to see it. I don't do a lot of yoga because some of the moves are a bit strenuous and I don't have a coach. So I just do some small stuff, you know, leaning, rocking, moving, bending over. Some of the positions I can do, I do those. I stretch, I move around, and I get silly with the yoga, and it's kind of fun. I take my time, I breathe through it. The breathing thing is absolutely important. So start off slow, find help, and look at that. If you are interested in doing yoga, if not, eh, it's not everybody. It's not. So, uh, yeah. I will tell you what it's like to walk uh, wherever I go. I get stared at, honked at. I get cat calls, and that's kind of funny, but creepy at the same time because people are weird and creepy now. They kidnap and stuff. But it doesn't, it doesn't stop me. It freaks me out, it concerns me, but if I have to get somewhere, I just either walk or catch the bus. But I don't drive. I know how to drive. I've had driving lessons, but I've never gotten my license because. 
it's it makes me nervous. And I don't want want panic attacks or anything like that. I don't have panic attacks except, but I don't like the idea of panicking because someone else could do something stupid and could end my life. Or I could sneeze at the wheel, lose control while they end somebody else's life. I don't want that on me. And yes, I said sneeze at the wheel. I don't know what could happen and I don't want that on me. So I have just chosen to not drive. I'll catch a ride. I will catch a bus, call a cab, ride a bike. I haven't done that in years, but I'm pretty sure I still can. So, I'll tell you this. Whenever I'm walking downtown, I do get stared at because I walk funny. I know I walk funny and I lean as I walk because sometimes I get tired. And it's interesting. Some people stare out of curiosity, some people stare out of concern, some are wondering what all is going on with me that I have the hands up to the chest. I if I carry a bag, I'll have my hand holding the bag so it's not as weird looking. But after all my mom would get tired. So I would walk downtown and I still walk downtown because it's a lot of fun. I go downtown, I go in and out of the stores, I sometimes I have money and I buy something, which is an often. Uh, I will walk downtown to the restaurants. They're nice sometimes. And I get stared at, I get looks, I get I get asked questions. Some are mean, some are absolutely just out of sheer curiosity. So I'm just want to understand they just want to know and they're afraid to ask so I don't really get mad at that because you're curious I can't get mad at your curiosity it's not something that I get mad at anymore because I've grown as a person and as an adult how else are you going to learn you have to ask questions but it's all in how you ask the questions that you want answers to you don't have to demand it but you can just simply ask me and if I want to tell you I will but at the same time, if I'm tired and not in the mood, I'll just tell you I have cerebral palsy. It's all over Google, and I'm doing videos about it now because no one is really paying attention to this condition. And it is so, it's interesting that it affects whoever has it so differently. It does. My limits are not your limits or their limits. My limits are just that, my limits. So. I'm working on stretching the limits to where I don't have so many, but it takes progress and it takes patience and practice. So that's it for today. I am going to go back to my homework. And if you have any more questions or if you want to know anything or if you want me to do something or show you something, let me know. And I have no idea what my video is going to be about, but. I am certain it will be interesting. Uh -huh. So, thank you, my dear. Let's, um, let's go with music. What is your favorite music? That's the next topic. So, you leave me your responses. We'll go through it. We'll talk about it. Work it out. Work it out. I will go mine. You tell me yours. I will show you something interesting. I know what I'll show you, but I won't tell you. It's a secret. It's how I typed. And no, it's not the conventional way, and it's something that is it's done, but I've never seen it done. Well, I guess I've never seen it done. So I've seen